Hi, this is Adam Thans from Bays Mountain Park and Planetarium in Kingsport, Tennessee. And I've got an interesting little facet of astronomy to, sh to share with you. Uh, something that's actually a very uh, useful little tool. It doesn't cost much, and you can even make one if you really want. Uh, there's plenty that are online that you can find to download and print. And that is one of these. Well, you're probably wondering, what is this? Uh, it's a circular device here. Well, it's actually called a planisphere. Uh, there are lots of different kinds of planispheres available online or at stores. We sell them in our gift shop at Bays Mountain. Um, and a planisphere, what does it do? It shows you what's up in the night sky very simply and easily. It's actually made with two layers. I think you can see that. Um, the back one has the star charts for the entire night sky for the whole year. The front part, as you can see my hand coming through, uh, is clear in, one, in parts, and you dial in the date and the time. So, I'm going to put 10 p.m. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to say Halloween for October 31st, 10 p.m. And this is what you're wanting to look for. And I know it's small, and I'll show some close-ups. You're going to see October and all the other months all the way around, along with all the days. And then you're going to see on this top layer, time. And right here is 10 p.m. at October 31st. Notice that you can shift these around. So as you dial in your date and time, this is showing you the correct part of the sky. And so just to show you very quickly, uh, as an extreme difference, as you can see how much it changes. Okay, you see that? And so the sky is shown here. And on this, you'll see north, south, east, west. So the simplest is, oh, if I'm facing south, you hold this so that the south, uh, which is actually this part right here on the bottom. What if I'm facing north? Well, don't turn and flip over and be a gymnast. Let's turn this over. And so north is on the bottom. And so here's your northern horizon. Where the grommet is, is where the North Star is, Polaris, right there. And the zenith is in the middle. If you're facing the east or west, rotate it that way, so east or west is on the bottom. And so this shows you all the major constellations and a couple of what are called deep sky objects in the night sky. And with that, you can easily spot, oh, that's there, so and so constellation. There's Cassiopeia, and I see uh, Perseus just down below it. And then high overhead, I see Pegasus, the flying horse. And this allows you to learn the night sky very easily. And it's a very tactile thing. Um, I know computers and tablets and your phone with all those apps are very handy, but sometimes they're a little hard to use and the screen's very small. This is very easy. It's, you can't hurt it. If you drop it, who cares? It's not going to get broken. And it's a very, like I said, it's very tactile. It allows you to be able to learn the sky um, very simply. And um, get out there and just uh, learn the night sky. And again, I uh, mentioned about um, planet spheres that you can print on your own and make at home and uh, make yourself. I would actually recommend that as a start because it's kind of a good activity for the house, for the family. And to kind of learn how it's used and cut it out and to use one. And uh, um, I'll post a link as far as uh, some good ones that you can find and print yourself for free. But uh, a nice, good, sturdy one that's a real thick plastic, that's going to last uh, your lifetime. Uh, it can get wet. Who cares? The dew covering. And even though I've been observing uh, and learning the night sky since I've been 12, and as you can see, I'm nowhere near that in my age, um, I still use it. What's up in the sky? Oh yeah, well, there's so and so constellation. It's just kind of a good start for what's out there, and then you start focusing in on some other objects. So a planisphere, very inexpensive but super useful uh, tool for the night sky.